What's up, fight fans? Hope you're all geared up for UFC 151 tomorrow. Nah, shit balls. Well, at least we still got the sack. Every Thursday after Triple THS on Wednesday at Crave Online, I'll ask for questions from you, the fans on Facebook. I pick the 10 that make me chuckle, and then one of you gets randomly chosen to win an awesome ass t-shirt from Ultimate Madman. Let's start this party. Call me Zerk. First question comes from Ken Nolan. Would you give up your mediocre cartoon web show and become a porn star? And if so, what would your stage name be? Well, Ken, thanks for assuming after being mediocre at comedy that I'd be a star in the adult film industry that is dominated by females. Stage name would be Cecil peoples because he's great at screwing people. Next question, Michael Cox asks, which UFC tattoo is the worst, Alan Belcher's tattoo of Kim Jong-il or Grey Maynard's tramp stamp? You know, I'm gonna say neither of these guys. While both of those tats are goofy as shit, at least they're original. I'm gonna go with every fighter that has their name tattooed across the top of their back or anyone that has any type of barbed wire on them ever. Anywhere. John Hayes Brunner, Golden Girls fan? You're goddamn right I am. This one comes from Mike Hatz. I noticed you have huge arms, so could you break out of Ronda Rousey's arm bar? The question isn't if I could, Mike. The question is whether I'd want to or not. All right, Chris Vargas and about 15 other people, but he was first. Tommy, how did you get your tooth chipped? Well, Chris, some might say it's because the dumbass who created me can't draw for shit, but that's not true. Okay, that's true, but that's not how I got my tooth chipped. It happened way back in the wild days of 2004, before the first season of Ultimate Fighter. So Forrest Griffin and Stefan Bonnard hadn't even created MMA yet. I was at a bar watching tennis. I was really into that back then. And this big biker looking guy steps on my shoe and then heads for a table with his buddies. Now back then I was a lot angrier than I am now, so I couldn't let it slide. I went over to these guys, there were about three of them, and I said, hey, you gonna apologize? And he said, for what, douchebag? And I said, for getting your blood all over my shirt after this ass whooping I'm about to give you. They all stood up and then I think you know what happened next. A fucking rhinoceros that had broken out of the local zoo burst through the wall of the bar and his horn goes right into my mouth. Chipped my tooth. Hurt like a bitch. Next up, Ruben Stretch. If magic did exist, would you use it to make UFC 151 happen? If magic existed, I'd probably be more focused on stuff like like flying, invisibility, and stopping Drake from ever making music. Mike McGuire wants to know, Hey Tommy, what's up with your voice, dude? You sound like you could sing lead for ACDC. Do you eat your beers? I'll tell you, Mike, the secret to getting a smooth, classic voice like mine is not through eating your beers. You gotta eat your whiskey. But I will say, my show wouldn't be as cool if I sounded like this. What's up, fight fans? I'm your favorite cartoon host, Tommy Toehold. Today, I sound like a giant douche. Next one up, Brian Allen Parker. Who is the elusive hat thief, and what is your beef with him? Brian, my beef with him is that he's stealing people's shit, and for some reason, the event security at these events can't seem to stop him. I've been on the case for about 15 years now, and anytime I'm not doing the show, I'm looking for that son of a bitch. My guess is he's somebody that's got really, really long arms, almost like cartoonishly long, so he can reach over everybody to get to the hats, but he's also probably got some really short legs, so as not to be seen by secure- <gasps> Russell Pierce, how much wood would Chuck Liddell chuck if Chuck Liddell was a wood chuck chuck wood chuck wood chuck chuck Liddell chuck fuck muck duck Liddell chuck nuck truck Liddell would should could spud Tito Ortiz. Final question, and the winner of this badass Ultimate Man t-shirt, Mark Rose. Hey Tommy, I'm in Canada, so I'm not eligible, but who would win in a fight between your mom and John Jones? Well, Mark, as goofy as Canada is with its free health care and its clean streets, you are still eligible for the t-shirt and you won. Congrats. As far as John Jones and my mom are concerned, what do you think? That's it this week, fight fans. If you didn't get on, you've posted 3,000 questions. Keep trying. I'll eventually get to you. Check out new episodes of Triple THS every Wednesday at CraveOnline.com sports. Enjoy the weekend. See you goofy fuckers on Wednesday when I go over Edgar's rematch with Aldo for the first time.